90.7 WXIN and RICradio.org. The Strike Zone coming to you live here on uh, Tuesday, October 29th, 2013. And we actually have Providence Bruins Center, Ryan Spooner, on the phone with us. Ryan, thank you very much for calling in the Strike Zone. We appreciate it. No problem. So uh, Ryan, I wanted to ask you. Uh, I wanted to ask you a couple questions. Um, how 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 did it feel um, getting drafted by the uh, by the Boston Bruins, forty uh, fifth overall, um, in the second round of the uh, two thousand and ten NFL draft, uh, NHL draft? Uh, it was really good, actually. It was uh, the dream come true for me. Played hockey um, since I've been three years old, so uh, just to be drafted by them, um, you know, it was awesome, and I was lucky enough to share with my uh, family and friends. I got drafted in uh, Los Angeles, so it was a good experience for me. And it must have been something, uh, I, I imagine Cam Neely was there, and uh, just uh, kind of describe the experience when, when you got drafted there by by the Bruins. Uh, you know, were, were some of the uh, higher-ups from the organization there, and, and was Cam Neely there as well? Yeah, uh, he was there. Um, I've had the privilege of uh, meeting him before, and um, He's an awesome person, and uh, he's helped me out a lot. And when I got drafted, it was uh, all of their brass there, their GM, their assistant GM, and, um, I mean, pretty much everyone was there. So when I got drafted, I got to meet them all. I got to meet my uh, parents and my family, and um, they were extremely nice. Made me feel really comfortable in that part of the, part of the organization, so that was good. What it, um, what some of the, what, um, Joe Passarelli here, uh, Ryan, what's some, of the, what's some advice that uh, Cam gave you? Um, I mean, my first year, he just said uh, not to be too nervous, just to play my game, and they drafted me because of my skill, so they told me to just go out and just try to do that. Um, and as the years have gone on, you know, if I've had any questions, I feel comfortable going up to them and asking them. And, um, you know, I'm grateful that I'm part of an organization where I feel comfortable going up and asking any question I want. Um, and, you know, they're always happy to uh, help me out. So Now, Ryan, you play um, in an organization which is – has some good depth at the center position in terms of David Krejci and Patrice Bergeron. What have you learned um, just watching them and, and interacting with them possibly? What have you learned to help your game? Um, I think the, like the biggest part is just me being at uh, camp. Like You kind of sit back and you watch guys at that play and um, you see how they handle themselves on and off the ice and you can learn a lot from um, I mean, all the centermen there. You know, um, They're all older guys. They've all been in the league for a long time. They know what they're uh, I guess I know what they're doing out there, so I kind of just uh, try to look at them and um, just try to follow them and just follow in their footsteps, and they're all really good uh, role models for me. So Now you had a huge year last year, 17 goals, 40 assists. Um, what are your goals for this season? Already off to a good start, two goals, five assists, seven points? Yeah, I mean, um, obviously I was grateful last year. I played on the power play, and I played with – bunch of uh, really good players and our team is also really good so um i was lucky to be a part of that team last year and uh this year moving forward you know i'm just trying to help the team win as much as we can and uh, if that means me getting points and that's what i'm going to do but if it means me doing other things um i'm also trying to work on you know like my face off and being good on my own end that's what the boss wants me to be so um i'm just trying to learn down here right now and um i'm lucky enough to be playing a lot and um, that's also good. Now, Ryan, the Boston Bruins have had some issues on the power play, at least converting on the power play throughout the past few years. Do you feel like in time you can help provide a solution to their power play problem? Yeah, I mean, um, growing up playing hockey, like that's been one thing that I've been good at. Um, was on the power play, and obviously it's hard to, it's hard to tell how it's going to translate to the National Hockey League level. I mean, um, the best of the best up there, and um, – in the American Hockey League, I've been good on the power play, and uh, hopefully, I can I can continue my success um, in the NHL level. But for now, um, I'm just trying to focus on uh, you know doing my job down here, and um, if I get the chance, uh, I get to go up there. I'm going to be ready for it. Um, and you know, if they don't use me on the power play, um, they have a bunch of guys up there that are you know awesome on it right now, and um, I'm just going to try to just go up there and just learn from the guys that are on it and just move forward with that. And um, speaking of Boston, in uh, the 2012-2013 season, you saw your first action uh, in the NHL with the Boston Bruins, four games. What was that experience like? Can you tell us a little bit about that? Um, yeah, it was uh, it was good. I mean, obviously, my first couple of games off, I was really nervous and um, didn't really have a lot of confidence in myself because 
you know, I didn't really know what to expect uh, playing my first couple of games to know if I was going to be able to keep up and know if I was going to be able to handle the whole physical aspect of it. But um, once I got my first couple of games under my belt, I felt a lot more uh, comfortable on the ice. And um, even in uh, preseason this year, it was uh, something that I actually really noticed was I was a lot more confident on the ice and comfortable using my uh, skill set. So um, kind of what I try to do. Ashley? Um, all right. So what did playing for Peterborough, Kingston, and uh, Sarnia – in the Ontario Hockey League do for your development? Um, I mean, again, I was lucky in my first year to be able to play a lot. As a 16-year-old, you know, I know a lot of my buddies who played for the first two years and didn't get the chance to, you know, play a lot. But um, I got drafted by a team that uh, struggled the year before, so moving in as a younger guy with some offensive skill, they uh, gave me the opportunity, and I'm grateful for that. And um, in terms of, you know, developing my skill, you know, I had a lot of great coaches along the way, and um, I had uh, Doug Gilmore as a coach in uh, Kingston, and um, Gil is a coach there. He played for the Maple Leafs as a defenseman, and um, I had uh, Jeff uh, Tui, who was a scout with the uh, Phoenix Coyotes, and I had a bunch of guys like that, you know, who were uh, there to support me and there to make me a better player. So having guys like that, uh, you know, definitely helped me out as a player. Who were you got? Who were guys you looked up to uh, growing up, Ryan? Um, I'd probably say guys like Steve Eiserman and. Uh, guys like Sidney Crosby, you know, um, watching guys like that play. Um, one thing I know about them is even though they're the best in the world, they still want to get better. Um, their work ethic on the ice is uh, outstanding. And, um, you know, I think I think that's something, you know, I guess to kind of look up to. And um, I think that uh, a lot of kids, you know, could stride uh, towards. Now the Bruins added Jerome McGinley, a future Hall of Famer in the offseason. Have you, have you had a chance to interact with him at all? Yeah, in uh, camp, actually, I played with him on a line against the uh, Jets um, in Saskatoon and, uh, you know, talked to him here and there. He's a really nice guy. Um, he's one of those guys who's actually he's always got a smile on his face. He's always happy. You can tell he just loves uh, to play hockey, and it's always great to see someone like that. And, um, you know, it was kind of kind of odd to uh, play with him on the same line. You know, you, you grow up and you're watching a guy like that and kind of someone that you looked up to and then you're playing on the same line as him, so that was kind of cool. And um, I pulled up some uh, some stats from actually your um, OHL rookie season. You scored thirty goals and had twenty eight assists. Very very impressive. Um, and I also was able to find too that um, you won the uh, William Hanley Trophy, the OHL's most sportsmanlike player for the two thousand nine two thousand ten season. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about how that how that experience was and and kind of uh what that award meant to you yeah i mean uh i got uh i got made fun of a little bit by uh teammates on my team for that one you know they're calling me soft and all that kind of stuff but um you know i think it's a i think it is an award that you know is a good one to get you know it means i'm not taking a lot of penalties i'm not not putting my team at, at a disadvantage and um i mean uh, i was pretty nervous when i went i had to go up in front of like a thousand people and speak and you know, say yeah, thanks to the entire hockey league and all that kind of stuff, and pretty nervous going there. But uh, I was honored to be receiving the award, and it was, uh, it was good. Now, Ryan, uh, Tyler Sagan traded in the off season. It seems to be the Bruins uh, have some openings in the organization in terms of young talent that could come help. Do you think you'll be able to help the Boston Bruins this season, especially that power play, which I really am enticed and excited to see you possibly contribute to? Yeah, I mean, uh, he was a winger, and I'm a centerman, so, um, mm. you know, him getting shipped out didn't really free up any space for me, but at the same time, um, you know, I'd like to think that I have some speed out, speed out on the ice, and he was someone, you know, who brought speed to the uh, uh, to that team. So, um, you know, obviously, if I was called up there, uh, it'd be something that, you know, I'd be looking to add to the team. Um, but like I said, for right now, I'm, I'm here in the American Hockey League, and I'm going to try to focus on doing well here, and... Um, you know, just play my game, and if I get the chance to go up and play, I'm going to be ready for that. All right. Ryan, thank you very much for taking the time for calling into the strike zone today. We appreciate it. Best of luck this season. We really hope to see you up in Boston contributing. Thank you very much. All right, folks, that was Providence Bruins center Ryan Spooner calling in live into the strike zone. Good stuff. I'd always, as always, want to thank